Whenever I'm ready to plant some new veggies in my garden, whether that be from seed or from transplants, I like to amend the garden soil. Have you ever done that? Does that term make any sense to you? Amend the soil? It's kind of technical, I guess. I don't know. What do you do? How does that work? Welcome back to New Garden Road, where I share my love of gardening with you in a way that I hope will inform, inspire, and elevate you. Subscribe to my channel and click the notifications bell. Stay up to date on all the garden action coming at you. When you're amending the garden soil, you're adding some good ingredients to the soil. You're feeding the soil. The soil is the stomach of the plant. That's going to translate to healthy growth and vigorous production of your garden plants, whether they're vegetables, herbs, flowers. When I'm in my garden soil, I like to add two things compost and fertilizer. I'll start with a nice all natural compost and the other thing, an organic fertilizer, a slow release granular fertilizer. Now I need to get my tools together. What kind of tools do you use when you're amending the soil? A nice garden rake, a shovel, how about a garden weasel? Definitely gonna need one of these. The sturdy garden rake. It's great for uh, turning soil over, working in compost and fertilizer, smoothing it out, moving soil. And the shovel here I'll be using to move the compost from my wheelbarrow to the raised bed. So I found that one of the best tools for helping me amend my soil is this garden weasel. I really like the sound it makes. It's also really easy uh, to work in raised beds really well cultivated soil it just moves through like butter all right so one of the first things that i need to do is get all the weeds out of this bed i'm also going to temporarily remove my drip irrigation lines it's real easy to do it's all in one piece so that's what i'm going to do check it out I've removed all the weeds and my irrigation lines from this raised bed and the next step I'm gonna take my garden weasel and I'm gonna get in there and just lightly run it through the soil I want to open it up a little bit loosen it up I'm gonna come back after that distribute some compost and some fertilizer I say feed the veggies so they'll feed you that means adding a fertilizer to the soil if you do it when you amend the soil you've got the nutrients deeper and they're going to be available to the root system of the plant as it gets growing. Yeah, that's it. That's amending the soil, guys. It's just that simple. You can get a soil test and have that analyzed and break it down and see what all you need of different things. There are other elements that you can add. You can really do as much as you want, but bare minimum, amending your soil consists of adding compost and a slow release organic granular fertilizer. That will feed the soil and it will carry over to the plants as they get growing. When I was growing up and my dad had a big old half acre vegetable garden, he also had this big old Troy built tiller. Man, that was a workhorse. In these raised beds, tilling is not necessary. This is a little bit different style of gardening. So the idea is that we have established life in the soil. We don't want to disturb that soil or the life that we are promoting in it. Also the soil tilth, the structure can be disturbed by tilling. Unless you're setting up a raised bed for the very first time and you've got a really heavy clay soil, you know, that might be a time when you would till it and amend it heavily with organic matter. So you don't need to till in your raised bed garden. Just work the top two inches. There it is, y'all. Feeling really good about it. Got the soil amended in this raised bed. And you know what comes next? It's planting time. I really like a neat garden, so... I was careful to brush the soil off the bed frame back into it. I take a lot of 
time to level it, smooth it. That's just what I like to do. I know there's some aesthetics involved, but also I like working with the soil. I like the smell of it. It reminds me of my childhood growing up. That's one of the things I love about gardening. My dad always had a vegetable garden growing. He was always growing roses, digging up plants, moving plants, dividing plants, digging in the dirt. So the smell of soil and the act of being outside and in nature really is something that's just close to me. So every time I'm in my garden and I'm working soil, it brings me back. It gives me that feeling. It connects me to my heritage, to my family. Something as simple as the smell of soil just makes me feel close to home. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some tips and I hope you got your soil amended and ready for planting. If you like what you see and you want to see more of it, please subscribe to my page. Leave me a question or comment below and keep it organic.